going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's Mandala 2 placemat and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, some wash away stabiliser, um, two different threads and I've got matching bobbins as well. I've got my curved scissors, some tape, poly fleece uh, batting. I'm going to be floating some cutaway stabiliser on top of my wash away and I've got my fabrics cut to size. Start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. And I'm pinning around the edge just so that it holds it nice and taut in the hoop. I'm just pushing my pin through and bringing it back round and that stops it being pulled down through the hoop. Load file A into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one which is going to give you your placement line. If you're making the reversible version of this mandala, you would add your backing after the first outline has been done and you turn your hoop over, place your backing fabric on the back and tape it down. Then if you're adding your cutaway, you do it now and you're batting on top of that and then you would stitch round number two. I'm not doing the reversible one but it was just to show you how and where to place it. If you're using cutaway stabilizer place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down. Put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place.
pop the hood back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number eight, which is the top one. Next is round number nine, which is the second section down. Next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number 10. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number two, you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. Now that that's all trimmed up, you are now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 13 and that's going to zigzag the raw edge across the top here. Next is round number 14 and that's going to do the satin stitching across the top edge here. You're now going to do round 15 and that's going to do the satin stitching along the top here. That's it for this section, so we're now going to remove this from the hoop. And we're going to trim up these edges as close as possible to the stitching without cutting them so that when it comes to joining it makes life easy. And that's our first section completed. All the rest are completed in exactly the same way with the exception that Towards the end you'll have a join along here to add each piece on before you do the final stitching. You're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabiliser and staying with file B you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting. If you're using cutaway stabiliser, place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. 
Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down. Put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here, leaving the sides. We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number 7 and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number 8 which is the top one. Next is round number 9, which is the second section down. Next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number 10. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2, you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front.
You're now going to join your previous segment to this one and you're going to place the stitch line of this one directly on top of the stitch line of this one and pin it in place. Take the time to line it up properly. Make sure you keep all your pins right out of the way of the stitch line. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the bottom here just to hold it in place and flat. You're now going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to do a zigzag stitch along this join and you might want to slow your machine down for this. If you haven't got a setting for it, you can use the start and stop button. Next you're going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging across the top raw edge. Next you're going to stitch round number 15 and that's the satin stitch across the top edge here. You're now going to stitch round number 16 and that's going to do the satin stitching along the join and the remaining raw edge. You're now going to free your segment from your hoop. And you're going to trim up close to the stitching along the raw edges. You're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabiliser and staying with file B, you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one, which is the placement for the batting. If you're using cutaway stabiliser, place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cut away stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down. Put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides
We are now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You are now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number 7 and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number 8 which is the top one. Next is round number 9, which is the second section down. Next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number 10. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2 you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. You're now going to join your previous two segments to this one and you want to make sure that you align your embroidery and also that you overlap your two stitch lines so that they sit one on top of the other. And then you're going to pin it in place. and add just a little bit of tape just to hold the bottom down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the zigzagging along the join and you might want to slow your machine down for this. Next you're going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging across the top edge. You're now going to stitch round number 15 and that's going to do the satin stitch across the top here. Mm -hmm. 
and now you're going to stitch round number 16 and that's going to do the satin stitching along the join and the raw edge we're now going to free these from the hoop I'm just going to trim up the edge and that's our third segment completed you're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabilizer and staying with file B you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting if you're using cutaway stabilizer place it over the outline and then place your batting on top add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three you can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line you're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it you're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number eight, which is the top one. 
Next is round number nine, which is the second section down. Next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number 10. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number two, you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. You're now going to join your previous three sections to this one. So you're going to take your joined pieces and align it with the stitching on the fixed section. And then you're going to pin it in place. And place a little bit of tape at the bottom there just to hold that down flat. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the zigzagging along the join to join the two pieces. Next you're going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to be the zigzagging across the top border. Next you're going to stitch round number 15 and that's going to do the satin stitching across the top here. Next you're going to stitch round number 16 and that's going to do the satin stitch along the join and across the top of the raw edge left. Now you're going to remove this from the hoop, so turn your hoop over and trim it away from the stabiliser. You're now going to trim up along the edge there ready to join it to the next piece. And that's your fourth segment finished. You're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabiliser and staying with file B you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting. If you're using cutaway stabilizer, place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it.
place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three you can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line you're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it you're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides We're now going to place fabric three over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number five to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section three, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number eight, which is the top one. Next is round number nine, which is the second section down. Next, you're going to stitch the third section down with round number 10. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2, you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. You're now going to join your previous pieces to this one, taking care to line up all the stitching as before and then pin it in place.
a little bit of tape down there just to hold the end down and you're now going to stitch round 13 and that will do the zigzagging along the join here you're now going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging across the top raw edge next you're going to stitch round 15 and that's going to do the satin stitch across the top edge here now you're going to stitch round number 16 and that's going to do the satin stitch along the join and across the top of your third fabric you're now going to free your segment from the hoop And you're now going to tr trim up your edge here, ready for joining. And that completes your fifth segment. You're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabilizer and staying with file B, you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting if you're using cutaway stabilizer place it over the outline and then place your batting on top add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it you're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here.
you're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges starting at the top working down the next four rounds are the quilting rounds so we're going to start off with round number eight which is the top one next is round number nine which is the second section down next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number ten Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2 you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. You're now going to join your previous segments to this one and as before line up the stitching. And you're going to tape this end down. Pop that into your machine and stitch round number 13 which will zigzag along that join you're now going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging along the top border. Next is round 15 and that's going to do the satin stitch across the top here. And round 16 is the satin stitch along the join and over the top. You're now going to free this from your hoop. So turn your hoop over and you're now going to trim up this edge. That's your sixth piece completed. You're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabilizer and staying with file B you're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting. If you're using cutaway stabilizer place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cutaway stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and 
and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down. Put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here, leaving the sides. We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You are now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here. You're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges. Starting at the top working down, the next four rounds are the quilting rounds. So we're going to start off with round number eight, which is the top one. Next is round number nine, which is the second section down. Next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number ten. Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2, you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. You're now going to join your previous piece to this one. And a little bit of tape at the end. 
pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the zigzag stitching along here to join the two pieces. Next you're going to stitch round 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging across the top edge. You're now going to stitch round 15 and that's going to do the satin stitch across the top here. And now you're going to stitch round number 16 the zigzagging along the join and the top edge. You're now going to free this from the hoop. And you're going to trim up your edge. And that completes your seventh segment. Before you get started, you're going to load file C into your machine, and then you're going to hoop your two layers of wash away stabilizer pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one which is the placement for the batting. I've hooped two layers of stabiliser and I've pinned round the edge and we're now going to stitch round number one to give us our placement line. If you're using cutaway stabiliser place it over the outline and then place your batting on top. Add a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Remove the tape and trim up the excess batting and cut away stabiliser if you've used it. Place fabric one in the bottom section here and tape it down and stitch round number three. You can remove the tape and you're now going to trim up the excess along the stitch line. You're now going to place your second fabric over the second section and tape it down. Put the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom and top here leaving the sides We're now going to place fabric 3 over the third section and tape it in place. Put your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 5 to secure it. Remove the tape and trim up the excess fabric at the top and bottom of section 3, leaving the sides. Now place your fourth fabric over the top section and tape it in place. Pop the hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess at the bottom of the line here.
you're going to put your hoop back in your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges starting at the top working down the next four rounds are the quilting rounds so we're going to start off with round number eight which is the top one next is round number nine which is the second section down next you're going to stitch the third section down with round number ten Next you're going to stitch the bottom section with round number 11. If you haven't done so already in round number 2 you're now going to add your backing. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it down. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 12 to secure it. Starting on the back of your hoop, you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front. Now that that's all stitched, you're going to add your other pieces and line it up as before, making sure that you get it positioned properly and then pin it in place. And you're just going to tape this end down here. And I'm going to pin this back out of the way so that it doesn't get caught up in with the stitching until necessary. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the zigzagging to join the two pieces. Next you're going to stitch round 14 and that's going to do the zigzagging across the top raw edge. Now you're going to do round 15 and that's going to do the satin stitch across the top here. You're now going to join the other side. I'm going to turn this around. And as you did previously, make sure that it's all lined up nicely with your embroidery and the stitch line there. And then pop a, a pin in to hold it and a little bit of tape down here just to hold the end down then you're going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number 16 and that's going to do the zigzag line along the join here If you're happy with your join you can now stitch round number 17 and that's going to complete the remaining satin stitch around the edges. We're now going to free this from the hoop. And that's the outside skirt completed. You now want to load the center file into your machine. You're going to hoop your wash away stabilizer and then you're going to 
put your hoop in your machine and stitch round number one, which is going to give you your placement. You're now going to place your skirt over the top and each of these uh, north, south, east, west points you're going to align to your stitching. And then you're going to pin it. Keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line though. You're now going to place your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure this. With your sharpest scissors you're now going to trim up the excess in the middle here. You're now going to add your backing fabric. So you're going to turn your hoop over and place your fabric over the back of your hoop and you want the right side facing upwards and then tape it in place. Then you're going to add your cutaway stabiliser if you're using it, your batting and your centre fabric and you're going to tape them down so that they don't move. You can now pop that in your machine and stitch round number three to secure it all. You're now going to stitch round number four and that's going to do all the decorative stitching in the centre of the circle. You're now going to trim up all the excess fabric, batting and, and cutaway stabiliser from the front and the back. So starting with the back. now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch around number five and that's going to do the final uh, stitching around the edge here. You're now going to free your mandala from the hoop. All that remains for us to do now is get rid of all the excess um, stabiliser from around the edges and the back. I'm going to use some warm water and a paintbrush and I'm going to start with the back. And that's our mandala finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Please do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas and inspiration there and we'd love to see what you make with the designs. And thank you very much for joining me.